Urban Village One Product Initiative is an economic development strategy which originated in Japan. Project coordinator Eileen Agahan explains the goals for it locally. The goal is to have them benefit from the tourism industry uh, where they are able to sell specialty products which could eventually um, help the village as um, income you know, remains on Guam and we are able to maximize the return um, on the sale of these products. It stays within our economy and we really want to promote the uniqueness of each village. The OVOP serves to develop an identity for each village. Agohan says it all started with certain villages hosting festivals. For example, Manilao and Doni, Talofofo and Bananas, and Agate and Mangoes. We're now expanding to include products and services as well and the overall experience. So through further research uh, with the University of Guam Pacific Center for Economic Initiatives, we were able to identify uh, what is found in the villages. Um, in addition to agricultural products, we have value-added products as well. This was done through interviews and surveys. Now on Friday, an unveiling was held for the guidebook to producing and marketing value-added products, as well as the Guam OVOP map. The idea is to be able to create a directory of uh, local businesses, value-added businesses, and services um, that are here on island and then to be able to, um, using the map, be able to create um, an ecosystem so that people can know where to get the coconut oil, where they can get the um, manha pie, or where they can get the sea salt, and do it eventually through their phones. This will make it convenient for the consumers as well as the business owner. Both ladies acknowledge the ever-growing buy local movement. Today, more than ever, people are embracing uh, buying local, whether it's locally grown produce um, or um, locally made value-added products. And if you look at it from a biosecurity standpoint, uh, it's critical that people think local first. Uh, if they can support our local farmers, then the farmers will produce more and then we can um, take all of these products that we're making and eventually be able to feed everybody on island and then the, the visitors that come visit us. So, but it really does take the uh, demand from the consumer in order for all of this to happen. This One Village, One Product is just a great extension of the Buy Local movement. So we're supporting our local economy through these uh, continued efforts. To find out more about the One Village, One Product initiative and view the map and guidebook, head on over to their Facebook at www.facebook.com slash guamovop or email guamovop at gmail.com. For this week's Local Harvest, I'm Jonathan Charpris.